Welcome to the Fat Emperor Podcast. I'm your host, Ivor Cummins. So I kept, I, within three years, I reversed my left main. And then I got a, a then I'll just say, and for, for brevity's sake, I had a speed bump. And my calcium score tripled in three months, <laughs> which, Whoa. yeah, uh, according to Dr. Budoff, that's impossible. Uh, well, guess what? I did it. And then it was, then I, I ended up a type 2 diabetic, partially. I stopped and reversed that. That took me three years to get that squared away. Boy, that was a problem. Because if you don't get your diabetes squared away, you're going to have heart disease. Uh, one thing that the listeners need to, need to grasp, ketogenic diets are critical. Ex- with the exception of the APOE4 genotype, there you've got to be a little cautious in your diet. But uh, I've always been ketogenic uh, from my athletic days back in the 60s and 70s. So I, I kind of knew it worked. And by January of 2003, I wrote a nice letter to a friend in Tiburon, California. And I said, Bob, heart disease is a gut bacteria problem. It's a function of your thyroid. It's a function of low D, low magnesium. It's, it's your gut bacteria that uh, dictate your, uh, your health. It's kind of interesting. January 2003, long before any of this, and I really emphasize carbs will kill you. And it was, it's been fascinating. It's been a hell of a ride ever since. So this, the thing with calcium scores, your calcium score keeps increasing. Okay, that means you have stuff growing in your arteries that aren't supposed to be growing there. I, I sometimes call it cancer of, of your arteries. And in 2010, I said to myself, enough is enough. I've slowed it way down. Progression was like a couple of percent per year, but it's still growing. If it's growing, it'll kill you. So I said, I took a week off and I just burrowed myself into my books. And by, I've, I've ran into an inadvertent article by Marcola from 1998. And it said, vitamin K influences heart disease. And I went, really? You got to be kidding me. I didn't know it. I truly didn't know it. I got everything else figured out, but I didn't know about K. And it was funny when I finally dove into that, I remember what Dr. Davis, Dr. Bill Davis from Weak Belly fame said to me, yeah, his mother was from Japan and, you know, Japanese, they they have this thing with vitamin K and natto. And I'm going, oh my God, that's what I missed. Because from 2002, to the reversal and cleaning out of my left main. Guess what I ate? I ate kale. I ate sauerkraut. I ate hard cheeses because that's what my body seemed to crave. And I just kept eating it, eating it, eating it. You know, and, and I inadvertently used K to solve my problem. And I didn't know it at the time. But it was essentially, it was your investigations and your switch to a more keto diet, removing problematic carbs, which feed the wrong gut bacteria, cause leaky gut immune reaction, all that stuff. You were doing all the right things, but inadvertently you were, you were tilting towards high K2 foods. Exactly. Exactly. It, I, I stumbled into it. You know, it just, uh, it just, so... Apparently, when I had that speed bump, the, the, apparently the gut bacteria that were making my K were killed off. I'll just put it that way. And we could talk about what really happened at that time, but that's a whole other thing. It's very controversial, and I don't want to get into it. So I realized I needed K. So I had to go find it in, a, in level sufficient to make it work. And I do, did a deep dive into that, and I, I said, okay, I found my K which was, it, it, it could read like a Cheech and Chong movie, you know, driving down to Tijuana to score some marijuana. I mean, it was amazing, you know. You go to these conferences and say, hey, I'd like to buy a Kia MK4. Excellent. And, you know, you might, you might uh, define, I know you will, but <laughs> you were looking for K2 and a variant MK4 or maybe MK7. So maybe give a brief uh, description of the K1 plant food more and the k2 you know from natto and cheeses just, just give an overview of the different k's okay i'll give you a conversational biochemist uh thing on k k comes in 14 forms k1 which is in, in broccoli it's in broccoli and kale mk's 
are fermented products made by your gut bacteria, surprisingly enough, Bacillus subtilis in your gut. And you can also get it in foods like natto, sauerkraut, uh, fermented sausages, uh, stuff like that. So it, it's, it's everywhere. It, it, the ones on the fermented side, the ones on the uh, just plain extractive side. And uh, they're very similar chemically. And they, in fact, they look like chemical tadpoles or polywogs. Uh, you've got this benzene head on it over here and this long freaking tail. And that's important because LDL and HDL carry that stuff all over your body. And that's something people forget about LDL and HDL and VLDL. V, those are the three trucks that haul K1, the MKs, which come in 13 different flavors, and your vitamin E and your CoQ10 and something called microRNA which is primarily resident on HDL. And that's the coating that your liver puts on the LDL and HDL when it kicks it out and back into your bloodstream. Doctors don't talk about that all that often. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see my subscribe button in the middle of the screen, a free viewing of the Widowmaker movie on the far right, and myself and Dr. Gerber's book, Eat Rich, Live Long, on the left. Otherwise, please do subscribe to the audio podcast. Thanks.